All right, guys. I got a uh, Dell laptop here, and I can't seem to get into the BIOS because the screen is all cracked, and you can't see nothing but a little bit on top up here. Actually, I think that just went out as well. But I can't even see the mouse anymore. But it used to be only that little bit was showing. And uh, if you need to get into the BIOS, or maybe it might work for safe, it'll work for safe mode too. It'll work for anything. Uh, but especially if you need to get into the BIOS, it won't show you the uh, screen if you hook it up to the external VGA. And in this case, this one also has a uh, HDMI port. So, it should work for both. But I got it on here right now. But uh, if your laptop doesn't automatically default its display when you uh, plug into the uh, VGA or when you need to first start up your computer into uh, the BIOS and you change some settings or, you know, just whatever. You can uh, take a magnet, fridge magnet. You can get these from uh, the bottoms of shower curtains. And my little sensor that detects when the display is actually closed is uh, actually right in front of the uh, power on light. So I just put that right there. It turns that display off and also does this one too, but it should turn back on. Or actually, since it was already on, it went into uh, standby or hibernation. You can see the lights are all off now. I'll turn it back on. And this, this one turns back on, but this one doesn't. Yeah, I'm able to access everything from here so and this one you can see is all cracked and whatnot and it's actually not on right now because the computer thinks it's closed because of that magnet now you might have to turn yours on and run the magnet around all over the place. Not a powerful one. You want a, you want something like that. That's not as powerful. Because if you do and you run it against a hard drive, you might damage it. The hard drive lays right in here on mine. Um, but just as long as it doesn't have a powerful one, it shouldn't do any damage to it. And just run it along all over the place, up in here, and over in here, by the speakers and whatnot until you see your screen turn off or go into standby mode and that's when uh, you can tell which place to put it and then all you have to do is turn it on and then go to your screen here shut it down turn it back on actually I'll do that right now for you so you can see actually it's gonna go and uh, update mode one of one uh, hopefully it won't take too long and I'll be able to show you that I can uh, access the BIOS. And knowing Windows is probably going to take a while. And yeah, I know I'm missing some keys. This ain't mine anyway. I gotta uh, fix the screen for for somebody in my family. Yeah, and the charger light is actually blinking here. Um, that means it's not charging the battery 
And that's because there's like a there's actually three prongs at one of those. Uh, there's a inner and outer positive negative, and then there's an inner um, pin that sticks out on the inside of that plug that goes inside here. And if that pin is busted on this plug, which is this is a brand new one, uh, if it's busted, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna charge because it sends a uh, charger information to the computer and uh, it, it makes to where it charges or not. Uh, it's it's kind of weird, but um, there can be cracked solder joints on that plug itself on the motherboard, and you can just uh, repair those joints, and uh, it'll work good as new, and it'll start charging again. I might do a uh, repair video on that later, maybe not, but uh, I'll let you know what I find out on that. Uh, I want to do a screen repair video on this here pretty soon probably next month and if this ever updates I'll uh, show you that I'm able to access the BIOS but probably won't be for another half hour I don't know <laughs> no telling with Windows huh I got a uh, AOC 1080p HD monitor. It's pretty nice. I had to send it in to get it repaired because uh, every time you'd uh, push on this, push on the top, it actually turn on. And uh, whenever you know you'd be playing it for ten minutes or something, and uh, it would just the screen would go blank. Nothing to be on the screen. You push on the top, top of that, and it would come back on until you left your hand off, and then it would, you know, it's probably a crack solder joint or something. But it was under warranty, so I just, you know, send it in, twenty bucks, get it repaired. I didn't feel like uh, opening it up, you know, when it was still under warranty. So. I got a CD in here. I'm gonna take it out. Maybe. Huh, whatever. There it goes. Uh, updates take forever. I didn't want to turn this into a 10 minute long video, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'll feel like editing it and all that. And this is actually a fresh copy of Windows 7. I used to have uh, Windows Vista on it, but, uh, yeah, I didn't like Windows Vista too much. I had so many errors, so many problems with it. Windows 7 is like, just so much faster and reliable. I just decided to put that on it. Any time now. There we go, now it's shutting down. Jeez. There we go, now we need to do F2. 
F2. I keep hitting F2. Oh, wait, no, it's shutting down. So we need to turn it back on. Keep hitting F2. There it goes. There. I'm in the BIOS now, and there's nothing on the screen here until I remove this magnet. Now you can see the screen. Now there's nothing on the monitor. You put that magnet back up there. There you are. So you just gotta. Yeah, what in the world happened? There it goes. Anyway, you just gotta make sure that magnet is in the right spot of wherever your laptop is, whether it be Toshiba, HP, Compaq, uh, Dell, you know. But for this particular Dell, it's a uh, Dell Inspiron 1525, and it would be just to the left upper of the power light in the corner there. And it would allow you to uh, get into the BIOS. And if you didn't have that magnet there, and you didn't have nothing plugged in, that's what you get. Nothing. And you know, you couldn't, you can't, you know, do nothing until you put that magnet there to make the uh, laptop think it's closed. And it would come back on with the magnet there. There's just a little sensor underneath. Yeah, you can go to the uh, boot menu, uh, BIOS information menu, you know, anything, uh, just with that little magnet. Now, some of them might have uh, a sensor inside the hinge area. They might have to take apart the bypass, and in this one, you just lift that up, and you might be able to uh, bypass the sensor. So, but in this case, it's just... You know, you just put a magnet right up there, and uh, it's fine. And I'm pretty sure it would work with the HDMI port as well, like this. You can see why it wouldn't. So, yeah. That's how you uh, get into the BIOS with a cracked uh, LCD screen.